Good afternoon everyone, this is Eric Bertram once again with Apex CCTV. Welcome back to our training video series on basic uh, CCTV networking. Today we're going to be covering just very briefly how to find your router's IP address. Um, if you uh, saw our, our introduction to this series, you will be familiar with our support site already, but if you're not, you can go visit support.apexcctv.com and downloads and uh, the sixth, sixth link down here, Generic Networking Guides, covers just about everything you could need to know from a broad perspective, a, a non-product specific perspective on CCTV related port forwarding. So if you go ahead and browse to that site and click on this or you can follow along with me here on the video, although I would, would recommend that you download it for your own use. Um, you can go down here to the Table of Contents and click this uh, link here that says information gathering checklist and we're going to be dealing with this first item here so your router's internal IP address uh, is something you need in order to log into your router and uh, in order to find it the simplest thing to do is click on uh, this is for Vista there's lots of ways to get to a command line but if you click on start um, usually in Windows Vista it's right here so you can click on visuals on uh, command prompt there you can go into programs um, I believe it's under accessories. There's a command prompt there. I prefer to just type uh, CMD in the search there and, and click enter. And uh, I wind up with a command line here. So uh, the, the command you need to run to find your router's IP address is ipconfig space forward slash all, A-L-L. When you hit enter, you're going to get all your networking information that your local computer is aware of. You can do this from any PC on your network, and the block of information we're looking at is either going to be wireless network adapter or, or Ethernet adapter, local area connection, something along these lines, but it'll, it'll look like the busiest and most populated section. Sometimes you may have multiple entries like this. If you do, um, typically this information from here up to here is going to wind up being the same. That's your subnet mask, your default gateway your DNS servers and your Win servers typically will be the same across all of your network connections. The piece of information we're looking for right now is the default gateway. Um, almost without reservation or without exception, uh, that piece of information is going to be, let me mark it again for you guys, um, almost without exception is going to be the IP address of your router. Uh, so if you're on the LAN, you can open a browser and visit this IP address, log into your router, dig up uh, excess information you need or make your actual configuration changes. If this default gateway is not something you can log into um, just by typing the IP address, like for example in our network, um, it's externally managed. So if I go to 192.168.1.1, I'm just going to get a page not found error. <coughs> um, and so that doesn't help me. Nine times out of ten, your customers will have a simple Netgear Linksys um, type router and this will work. If it doesn't, I'll show you this example so that you know you need to get a hold of their network administrator. Uh, in the CCTV industry, this is very often a third party contractor, so the owner of the business, uh, restaurant, bank, casino, etc., will likely have to call either their corporate headquarters or um, a third party contractor that they hire to come in and make these types of changes to get that information. So, again, what you want to ask for is how do I log into the router to make configuration changes? Um, hopefully they'll be able to give you that information. If they can't, they'll have to do it for you. So you'll want to go through the rest of this video series and gather um, all the information you can to give to them in order to make that task as easy as possible. But again, um, if you do ipconfig slash all, which I'll mark up here for you guys again so you can see it, and then you're going to look for the default gateway, 192 uh, in my case, 192.168.1.1, and, and again, 9 times out of 10, that's going to be the information you require. So this has been our training video on how to find your default gateway and your router's internal IP address, and I hope that you guys have found it useful. Uh, once again, this is Eric Bertram with Apex CCTV. Have a great day.